We are here at Wood County 911 Dispatch Center. I'm with my friend Dustin. We're going to be talking a little bit about 911 operators, what to expect when you call 911, and some tips, right? Yeah. So thanks for having us here today. Uh, we often get asked, you know, if there is an active shooter situation, what is dispatch really going to want to know? What are some things I should be thinking about so when I get through to them? What should I be telling them right off the bat? Uh, first of all, uh, tell us where you are in relation to the event that's taking place so we can determine whether or not you're going to be safe to stay on the line with us and give us that information. If you're in danger, our first priority is going to get you out of that danger. So if you are right in the middle of something, we're going to try to guide you out of it as best as possible. And once we have you in a position of safety, then we're gonna to try to get more information about what's actually happening. Uh, then from there on, we need to know details. Where is this person? What exactly is going on? Uh, where are they in relation to everybody else? What kind of weapons, if it's an active shooter, how many of them are there? Uh, what's involved. And we talk a lot, you know, with child care programs that are located in other buildings, like churches or businesses or places that you may not know that there's kids. So we always say it's a probably a good idea to let dispatch know that there are kids present. Oh, certainly. Especially some of the child care programs we see are, you know, 24 hours a day at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. You're certainly not anticipating to, to find a bunch of kids in a, in a 